Whether you are shopping, calculating a dose of medication, cooking, planning an event, or traveling, rates will frequently appear. All six of these examples are rates. They are a comparison of two quantities in different units. These second three examples are what we consider a unit rate, where the second term is one. An item that we purchase might cost $2.20 per pound. We might be able to type 100 words per minute, and we can drive 50 kilometers in one hour. In a proportion, we have two quantities equal to two quantities. It's really important that we have an equal sign in the middle and that the same units are on the same lines. If we know how many, for example, pounds are in a kilogram, we can use that information to help us solve for a missing amount. Likewise, if we know that there are a thousand milliliters in a liter, we can use that information to help us solve for how many milliliters would be in a 2.3 liter container. You may already know that there are 2,300 milliliters in 2.3 liters, but if you're not sure, set up a proportion and that will help make sure that you always use the correct operation, either multiplication or division. Likewise over here, we're going to go 5 times 1 divided by 2.2 and that's going to give us the number of kilograms. So if you know the conversion rate and aren't sure do we multiply or do we divide, set up your proportion, cross multiply, and you'll get the answer every time. There are multiple ways that you can go about solving a problem that involves a comparison of rates. Because of that, it's crucial that you keep your work organized so that whoever's looking at it can see what you're doing to get those comparisons. If we are comparing two different quantities, we need to get them into the same units. And the easiest way to make a comparison is to determine the unit rate for each item. In our first example, we have an individual purchasing a turkey, and she can either purchase it from the butcher or from the supermarket. So I'm going to use headings so that I can clearly see which is which, and then it gives me the price in kilograms at the butcher. It gives me the price in pounds at the supermarket. I want to first get them into the same unit, and then I want to find the unit rate for each in order to compare them. Because this is already a unit rate, I'm probably going to keep this one. I don't have to do anything then. I'm going to convert this into pounds and then find the unit rate for the butcher. I'm going to begin by taking my 12 kilogram turkey and figuring out how many pounds that is. We know that there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So over here I've got the same unit on the same line, doesn't matter if it's top or bottom, just same unit, same line, and those are equal to each other, which means I can figure out what this amount is by cross multiplying. So 12 times 2.2 will give me the number of pounds. Remember to keep this exact answer in your calculator until the very end. So once we've figured out how many pounds we have, that means at the butcher we're going to be paying $42.89 for 26.4 pounds of meat. So now I want to figure out what the price per pound is so I can compare it to the supermarket. Once we have a unit rate in the same unit, now we can make a comparison and we can see that this is going to cost less than this, so the better buy would be to purchase your turkey at the supermarket. It's crucial that you include the appropriate units on your final answer. In our next example, we're looking to see which activity, either aerobics or hockey, is going to burn calories at a greater rate. So the two things I'm comparing are calories and time. I'm going to want to put my time into the same units. In deciding what to put on top, think about what makes more sense. Are you going to say this person burns this many calories per minute? or this many minutes to burn one calorie. Because it makes more sense to say we burned this many calories in one minute, I chose to put calories on top. Now, if we're trying to find a unit rate, you might notice that every time we're just dividing because 140 times one is going to be 140 and then we're dividing by 20. The same thing over here. Now we need to get them into the same units. I know that 1.5 hours, an hour and a half is 90 minutes. If you weren't sure, then you're gonna go over to the side here and you're gonna do another proportion. You're gonna say 1.5 hours is how many minutes, knowing one hour has 60 minutes in it. Same unit, same line, and then you can see that you're going to multiply to get the equivalent number of minutes. And then once we have a unit rate for each activity, go back and see what the question is asking. So in this case we want to know which burns at a greater rate, so we're burning one calorie per minute more in hockey than we are in aerobics. So it is hockey that burns at a greater rate.